Hi, this video is about how to use Snip and Sketch, the Windows PC built-in screen capture snapshot tool. This tool is the successor to the previous version called Snipping Tool, and it works very much the same, albeit with a few more features. You'll find it available in the latest update of Windows 10, and it can be installed free of charge from Microsoft. You can find it quickly by clicking on the Windows Start button and typing in the word Snip. You may even find both come up in the search. It's an application, and it is also integrated into the Windows OS. I placed it permanently in the taskbar, but you can quickly summon it with the keystrokes Windows Shift S. The most frequent use case is capturing a small part of your screen. For example, suppose you wanted to quickly find a public domain image of a puppy and use it in a presentation. Using Bing, you can search for a puppy, apply a filter to public domain images only, and if you don't need a large image, simply screen capture what you see right on the screen. It is copied to the memory in the clipboard, and then you can paste it into your document. Alternatively, you may choose to click on this link in the notifications, and it will be opened in a window for marking up and or saving as a file. Saving as a file lets you choose which file type, JPEG, Portable Networks Graphic, PNG, or GIF. JPEG is ideal for photos and keeping files small. PNG is a lossless image format if you're concerned with image integrity, but at the cost of file size. GIF has a limited color palette and the file size is between JPEG and PNG. Unless someone gives you a reason to do otherwise, choose JPEG. Annotating an image is fairly straightforward. Here are the basics. The first tool enables touchscreen support and will only work on computers that support it like the Microsoft Surface. The pen is a solid color and you can change it to be any color with many writing sizes. The pencil tool is the same except simulates the look of pencil lead and has a softer feel. The highlighter acts like you'd expect it to. The ruler tool helps you guide the marking tools and is very handy when used together with the highlighter. The protractor is similar and includes angle measurements, a nice touch. The magnification tool does not actually change the size of your image, but it does act like a magnifying glass to see small details. The diskette button has already been covered. It lets you save your snip to a file. The overlapping files button is copy. This means whatever you see in your window will be copied to memory for pasting into a Word document or email. The share button works as expected. Automated posting to Facebook, Twitter, and other services can be set up here. Thanks for watching. If this was in any way helpful to you, a click on the like button will help this video's rankings and help others find it. If you'd like to be notified about online learning technologies, please subscribe to my channel. I also have a website with many useful resources for both staff and students. You will find a link in the description.